Well, you got your first pass with the first team at our show last year for the debut appearance. Yeah. What was that like? We didn't get a chance to talk to you after that. So um, just what was that whole experience like, kind of getting in there as a 16-year-old, I believe, uh, one of the youngest players of the team? I mean, it was really surreal. You know, you dream about it all the time, but, you know, it's not really, like, you don't really believe it until, until you're there. You know, it's, it was, I feel like everybody made me feel, like, normal. Like, the team included me. It's like we're a family. So it's like, it was like I was just another player. So, but a very big moment for me, for sure. And then how does that uh, help you or maybe change things coming into this season? Do you feel like maybe there's a little bit more of a spotlight on you, a little more expectation, and that you've already shown maybe a little bit of what you can do on the first team level? Yeah, I think it helps me for sure that I was with them for maybe six months last year. So it definitely helps going into the preseason. I know everybody. They know me. So it's just like continuing to prove myself and winning a spot on the team. Where do you see yourself kind of in the in the formation on the field? I know maybe things are changing a little bit with how the team is attacking mm -hmm. and possessing the ball. Where do you feel like you fit best with this team? For me, on the wings is where I fit best. Um, I can play right wing or left wing. It really doesn't matter to me. But that's definitely with the attacking formation we're playing right now is definitely where I fit. And then lastly, um, uh, what is it about RSL that is so good at developing young players in your opinion? I feel like even when you're at in the academy, it's just like you're a family, as I said before. It's like you live in the dorms with them, you eat with them, you sleep with them. So it, I feel like everybody knows everybody, and it's not even, it's not hard to go after training and training with one of the coaches. It's just, it's like it's not no, it's not awkward. So it's just when they really focus on on your individual um, improvement, I, I think is one of the big, biggest things for sure. I think it's really good for me. You know, you learn from him every day in training. You just hope hope you'll get there one day, and you just keep working hard every day and keep learning, keep taking advice from all the veterans, and I think you'll get there eventually. What are some of the older players you feel like have benefited from your league you learned and uh, helped you kind of learn the ropes to this position? I think, you know, I feel like everybody. I feel like Dami was a big one, but obviously. And I think Marcelo, Oviedo, like, he plays with me on the wing, so I feel like they're always telling me, like, what to do in, pr in training, and if I had done something wrong, I can fix it, so. How are you feeling in this preseason? It's feeling good, yeah, I feel really good. Everybody's super, super locked in and working hard. What are some of your goals for this season, personally? Um, I feel like just winning a spot on the team is my first goal, and then uh, obviously I think about all the other goals after, but winning a spot on the team is my first goal for sure. Yeah, it's pr it's pretty cool. It's like because it's like you have some people that are in your shoes. You're not only the only one that's going through this. So, and I also met Kevin and and um, Matthew at the rookie symposium. So, it was nice to meet them, and it's nice to see them every day in the in the locker room, have some familiar faces. Yeah, you guys have a good day.